What's going on, everyone? So it appears that months of rioting and looting is actually hurting Democrats in the polls. Check out this video of Don Lemon talking to Chris Cuomo about this. Joe Biden may be afraid to do it. I'm not sure. Maybe he won't. Maybe he is. He's got to address it. He's got to come out and talk about it. He's got to come out and tell people that he is going to deal with the issue of police reform in this country and that what's happening now is happening under Donald Trump's watch. The rioting has to stop. Chris, as you know and I know, it's showing up in the polling. Mm -hmm. It's showing up in focus groups. It is the only thing, it is the only thing right now that is sticking. Oh, you guys, not the polls. It's, it's affecting the polls. Now we have to come out strong against this. I mean, this is, this is mind-blowing stuff, you guys. This is absolute mind-blowing stuff. First thing I'm going to touch on, though. Don Lemon saying that this is happening under Trump's leadership. Trump's doing his part. He's offering federal assistance to these governors and mayors that, that are, are seeing absolute chaos in their communities. He's doing his part. The Democrats aren't doing their part. When it comes to governor of Wisconsin, Tony Evers, rejecting Trump's offer for federal assistance after, the, after local law enforcement was saying, we need federal troops here. Finally, he's accepting 1,000 National Guard, 200 federal officers. After, after what? The whole community's burnt down. Two people have died. We're seeing this all over the freaking country. We've been seeing this all over the country the past three months. Chicago, Seattle, and CHOP refusing to, to uh, restore law and order only until two people died in CHOP. This is absolute insanity, and I think a lot of the American people are waking up. And that's going straight back to the polls. I, I, I think that's, that's exactly what they're seeing here. But hey, you have the Democrats' attention now. It's affecting their poll numbers. God forbid. It, it, the, what wasn't attracting their attention was the six, at least six hundred billion or six hundred million dollars in in property damage across the nation, disproportionately affecting minority communities. At least nineteen people shot and killed, or, or just murdered in these protests. Majority of them being black. Around a thousand police officers injured in these riots. No, no, no. That that wasn't. No, that wasn't warranting a very tough response. But you know what it is? When your poll numbers are down. This is mind-blowing stuff, you guys. And uh, unsurprisingly, Biden's coming out, you know, with quotes after Jacob Blake's shooting saying, needless violence won't heal us. We'll see if he continues to push harder than that. He's probably going to have to now that his poll numbers are down. We have um, Kate Brown from Oregon after 80-plus nights of violent protests. We've all seen the videos. Her coming out saying, let me be clear, it's time for the violence and vandalism to end so Portland can focus on the important work to be done to achieve real change for racial justice. Those who have committed acts of violence will be held accountable. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how many of you guys know who Tom Fitton is. Hopefully I'm saying his last name right. President of uh, Judicial Watch. He came out with this fantastic response to this tweet, which is just spot on. He said, reminds me of Don Rickles' joke. Quote, Frank Sinatra saved my life. Some, some toughs were beating me up in a parking lot, and Frank came along and said, all right, boys, that's enough. Literally exactly what happened with Governor Kate Brown in, in Oregon, just allowing all this madness to take the streets. I was there. I know a lot of people that have been there. It's absolute, it's, it's just lawlessness in the streets. No cops around unless they're really, really, really pushing it. Absolutely absurd. But you guys, we've been seeing this for the past three months. Weak Democrat leaders refusing federal assistance, Trump trying to help when it comes to getting their communities under control, getting these riots under control. And, and it's obviously affecting Democrats in the polls. It's obviously affecting Democrats in the polls. But, but now we have their attention. Now, now you have the Democrats' attention. Now is time to condemn and, and, and be strong against uh, lawlessness in communities. Now's the time. Not after, not after, not during all that stuff going on. No, no. You guys, hopefully this kind of paints a little picture of where the Democrats' priorities lie. Has nothing to do with, with Americans living a safe and comfy life in a neighborhood that shouldn't be getting burned down. It has nothing to do with any of this stuff. As long as they are winning, as long as they are seeing that they are winning, they're okay with whatever is going on in their communities, as long as it's, it's looking good in the polls. Anyways, perhaps, perhaps Republicans are playing politics as well. But the end result of their politics is keeping communities safe. I will take that all day, every day.
Anyways, you guys, please subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, shoot me a follow, and I'll see you next time.